Prosci ADCAR. Prosci's ADCAR model is based on five sequential steps. Awareness, desire, knowledge, ability, and reinforcement. These steps are an expansion of Levine's model, but represent a significant advancement in the fact that it clarifies the components of Levine's stages and makes them more transparent. So, confusing awareness and desire. When Levine wrote about unfreezing, he was moving towards a model of understanding that people don't change without a reason, and they need to know about the reasons they'd be willing to change. Jeff Hyatt recognized that the desire to change was preceded by an awareness of the change. Building on the work of Everett Rogers, Hyatt recognized that knowledge was one thing, but doing something was different. To decide to make a change, people needed more than awareness. They needed desire. Too often, organizations make the mistake of making stakeholders aware of the change without working to instill in them a sense of desire about the change. ADCAR specifically addresses the need to motivate through the introduction of desire. Everyone who must change their behavior or ask others to change their behavior must also desire the change. However, even desire isn't enough to accomplish the change. For that, we need to have knowledge and ability. The next two parts of the ADCAR model correspond to Levine's change and transition phase. Here, Hyatt again splits Levine's category into two steps. The first step is acquiring the knowledge about the change. This is learning what behaviors must be changed and what the expected outcomes of individual behavior changes are. And finally, how these changes fit into the larger picture. This knowledge is a critical prerequisite to being able to make the change. Hyatt is aware that knowledge exists at many levels and of the work of Benjamin Bloom and his colleagues who established a hierarchy of educational objectives. These objectives range from simple awareness of a concept to the ability to synthesize and analyze new ideas based on the learning. In the middle of the hierarchy of educational objectives is the level that allows people to apply what they've learned. Ability to make the change takes many forms. In some cases, it's performance of a new task or skill. In other cases, it's stopping an activity or modifying it. Ability is the first step where people are actually changing their behavior. This may be tentative at first, but with time, they reinforce their ability to do the changed behaviors. However, many of us have started new behaviors only to have old behaviors raise their head again. The first challenge, the first spike of stress, and the first fear about the new behaviors is often enough to push people backwards into their old behaviors. To prevent this from happening, an important reinforcement step is required. Here, Hyatt renamed Levine's refreezing to simply reinforcement. The key to this phase is the recognition that change is a process. After the new behaviors are established, they must be reinforced and supported to encourage that those behaviors remain behaviors the organization uses until they're supplanted by another change effort that seeks to further refine or improve them. When you put ADCAR together, well, you see, when you put these steps together, you're left with a transition process that addresses the need to become cognizant of the change and why it's necessary. You develop the knowledge and then the skills necessary to make the change, and you reinforce those behaviors to prevent regression. The ADCAR model is an effective way to deliver change and it provides more details about the process than Levine's model.